Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today. I, um, I thought I'd come on just quickly. This is um, not a Defemerember post. Uh, we've got a couple of days off and I'm taking advantage of that to catch up with some other jobs around the house. Um, but I wanted to share a couple of things that I've been doing in the background. Um, okay, where to start? Well, first off, I'll start with this. Look what I've got. Oh, I was so pleased. I ordered it from Amazon. And um, I can't wait to use it. It is the um, tab punch. You know, uh, Stampin' Up! always used to have one. But now you can't get them. You can't get them from Stampin' Up. You might get them from people selling them online, but they go for a huge amount of money. This was much more affordable. And um, it actually measures five inches across the whole thing and about two and a half just over wide. So it's a chunky thing. It locks down which is good for storage. And to punch it, you punch it. Let's find a scrap of paper and I'll show you why not. Okay, here's a reasonable size scrap. Oh, sorry about that. Horrible squeaky noise. Okay, so basically what you do is fold your paper up I like to do it upside down so I can see what I'm doing. And punch. Easy as that. And there you are. How good is that? I love it. <laughs> I intend to punch out all my scraps. Um, I think it'd be good all those scrappy bits of paper that you keep just in case. I'm a great one for just in case. So there you go. That was my new, that was my Christmas present to myself, I think. So I was very happy with that. Let's lock it up. So that was one thing. And the other thing I bought was a book. And I'd seen this book advertised. Actually, I'd seen it in the, make, in the um, author's page on YouTube. Um, she's a fellow Aussie. Here we go, Natasha, from Treasure Books. And this is her book. And it's a paperback, if you like. It's um, soft cover, basically. Uh, about half an inch thick, thereabouts. Let's have a look. Oh, over a half an inch. One, two, three, four, about five eighths thick. Really good size. So it's just eight inches by 10 inches. So that's a really nice size for the bookshelf. And it basically covers everything you need to know about making journals. And she literally starts from the beginning. Talks about how you repurpose purpose junk, bits and bobs, uh, different styles, all sorts. And there are, there's a lot of information in there. And there's stuff in there that I didn't know. And I've been making junk journals for a little while now. Um, and also projects all sorts of projects in here. Talks about book binding. Really good. And if you follow her channel, I mean, her channel is really good too. I've been following for quite a while. Look at that. How nice is that? And um, I love the way she finishes off. I saw that and thought, yeah, I'm going to make one of those. I, I've made envelope, you know, repurposed envelopes. And she uses all sorts. She uses scrapbook paper, fabric, um, all kinds. 
yeah, it's a, talking about using a, an old clutch handbag to make a journal, and I've been keeping my eye open for a suitable one. I wouldn't mind trying that. She does all sorts. Um, yeah, so this was a really good buy. Can't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't horrendous. And um, I flick through that regularly. And because I was inspired by the um, repurposed envelopes, I made a couple. And I followed her, uh, Natasha's instructions, pretty closely, using the window in the envelope to make a pocket for a very slim little tag. Same with this one. I thought these were quite nice little stocking fillers. And I've just filled it with scrap bits of paper that were lying around, different sizes, wrapping paper. Now this has got some um, gesso on, so it's sticking a little bit. Tea dyed papers, odd bits of scrapbook paper, actually. That was what was left from lining the inside cover, all sorts, and um, to cover them, the way that Natasha does it is that she covers the envelope with scraps of book page and then uses some gesso and then adds a, uh, a napkin over the front, so it's napkin um, covering, what do you call that? Is that like, I, I want to say decoupage, but I know it's not really, but it's using the napkin over, over the page as a cover. And um, that worked really well. I used the gel medium to attach it. And then I added a bit of, um, I think I, I can't remember now what I did. I think I added a bit of, um, just sponged over the top with tea dye. Excuse me. Sorry about that. That was my friend just calling me. Um, yes, so these, I made these little um, books and I actually made them thinking, there's enough pages in there that I could use those for junk journal January. Or, you know, little stuffing stocking stuffers, um, little gifts, little giveaways maybe. I haven't finished them off exactly. I was going to put something on the uh, threads. I used embroidery thread to tie them off. I was going to put a charm or something on the bottom. But yeah, I've made those quickly one day. And um, talking about junk journal January, this is what I think I'm going to be using. Um, I quite enjoy Junk Journal January. I, every year I say I'm going to keep it really simple. So I'm saying the same this year. I've started getting my journal together. And as you can see, I'm making a concertina or accordion journal. So I've got enough pages that I can uh, fill one side and then flip it and fill another and I've used scraps of odd bits of paper book page um, I think there's some drawing paper in here as well wrapping and I've just started um, adding odd bits just to break the pages up uh, I've got more of that to do and I also want to do a bit of um, painting. I want to add some colour to these pages. I mean basically what I do is I add scraps down the folds just to strengthen those folds and certainly on some of this old paper I need to do more down here. Um, and I've used one of my um, collaged sheets, one of the big sheets, cut it to size to cover the front and the back of the journal. And what I did, I added some ribbon on this side without thinking really, because it's not gonna work. <laughs> I wonder how many of you looked at that and thought, 
very nice, but that's not going to work. And why isn't it going to work? That's why. <laughs> oh dear, that was a senior's moment. So, I am either going to add more ribbon to this side, or another thing I thought I might do, and I should have brought these over. This is something else I made, and this was inspired by um, Natasha of Treasure Books. Look at these, aren't they lovely? Made with scraps of lace. Oops. And you can see I've done all the putting together bits with scraps of lace, and they need to have something in the centre. Um, actually, I thought that one. And originally I was thinking of putting this on Defemer Ember and we'll see how chunky that gets. It may well go on there. It's got fabric from there as well as lace to match. And this was the front of an earring. How pretty is that? Can you see? It's just beautiful. It's got tiny little flowers on it. So I was thinking that one could go on there. I've got this one, which again was another earring. And that one, I need to get rid of the back off there. I got rid of most of it, but there's a bit left. But I was thinking that one could sit on there. And it may well be that I use one of these on this journal and just add it to some elastic. We'll cover the, but that's fine. I quite, actually quite like that because this journal is sort of pinks and greens. So yeah, that's what I've been up to behind the scenes. Um, not a lot, but um, you know, just getting myself a little bit organized. Um, I will be back hopefully with a little project. I've. I haven't managed to do any of um, Rachel's Friday challenges. Um, I might play catch up on that, I'm not sure. Could do with some bits for my um, stash, I think. And um, yeah, so that was, that's what I've been up to. Thanks so much for calling past. It is just a quick, quick video today and I will see you soon. Thanks now. Bye.